Welcome to the second part of this module number four, where we will be looking at how to create lofted boss slash base and lofted cut by using different possible methods. The lofted boss slash base uh, is the feature on the SOLIDWORKS that can be created to add the material that joins two different cross sections. Let's start a new part file. On the front plane, I'm going to create a rectangular sketch uh, and I'll dimension this as 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters. Click OK. This is going to be one of the cross sections that we want to connect to create the loft feature. I'm going to exit the sketching mode and then go to the reference geometry, click on the plane. I'm going to choose the front plane as the reference and create another plane at, let us say, 200 millimeters offset distance. I'm going to click on the check mark to complete the creation of plane one. On the plane one, I will be creating another sketch let us say I create a circular cross section this time and assign the dimension of uh, let us say 100 millimeters. Click on the check mark to finish off these two different sketches that represents two different cross sections for the solid model. I'm going to be exiting this sketching mode again so that we are back to the three dimensional space. Now we can use the loft feature in order to add the material between this cross section, the circular cross section and the rectangular cross section. So let's go to features, click on the lofted boss slash base and then we will be choosing the profiles. That's the first profile and the second profile. Let's see the preview to make sure the loft material is added in this solid model and once we click on the check mark the solid model is created with the loft feature so you can see based on the previously defined algorithm within the SOLIDWORKS material gets filled up between the two cross sections using the loft feature similar to the loft boss slash base we can make use of the lofted cut feature also so I can create let us say another sketch on the circular face here on the top and this time let me make a rectangular sketch here I'm gonna click OK we can of course dimension it and on the um, once I exit this sketching mode I'm gonna select the sketching plane for the bottom face and let's say I make a circle on this bottom face and again we can obviously add the dimensions as we desire. I will have to exit the sketching mode and then go to features lofted cut. I'm going to sketch one profile and click on the other profile. So very similar to lofted boss slash base we can use the lofted cut feature that connects the two different cross sections. So that is how in its simplest way we can make use of the lofted boss slash base and lofted cut feature. Now let's take a look at what if we want to add another cross section uh, to the uh, solid model and create the solid model using multiple cross sections with the loft feature. So in order to do that, uh, let me delete the previous feature that we had just created which was the lofted cut. Now I'm also going to get rid of the loft feature that we had created and just leave the two sketches as before. So our first sketch is the rectangular sketch created in the original front plane and then the circular sketch created in the plane one. So I'm going to go to the reference geometry, click on the plane 
choose the plane one as the reference and let me create another plane on the top of the plane one by the same amount of distance let's click OK and on this plane let me start sketching another cross section and let's say this time I create a, a polygon where we have six number of edges so I'm going to create this hexagon here and again we can obviously use the smart dimensions on this plane uh, to make the sketch fully defined. Once we create uh, the third sketch, uh, let me first uh, fully define the sketch by assigning uh, the dimensions to this polygon. Let me uh, give the distance between the flats. Let's get that as 75 and let me make the one of the edges as horizontal to make it fully defined. And now with the help of these three sketches that I have, I'm going to exit the sketching plus, sketching mode first, go to the lofted base, and I'm going to select these sketches uh, one by one. And remember the order is very important as we uh, keep selecting the sketches for the purpose of loft. Once I click OK, then the sketch can be completed. The solid model is created with this lofted base feature that utilizes different cross sections. Remember that when we use the lofted boss slash base feature, the different cross sections that we create needs to be created in the planes which are parallel to each other. Okay, so one more thing we will be looking at uh, in the lofted uh, feature is how to make use of the guide curves. So I'm going to delete this lofted feature first and let us uh, see how we can make use of the guide curves for connecting the circular cross section and the rectangular cross section. So first I'm going to look at this sketch 2 which is the circular cross section and then click on edit sketch. What I'm going to do is create the center lines that will be helpful in the uh, selection of the vertices when we make the guide curves. And I'm going to make that line as for the construction. Click OK. Also I'm going to create another center line for the circle and also make that for construction. Once I'm done with creating the two center lines here, I'll exit the sketching mode and come back to the rectangular sketch. And I'm going to do the similar thing here as well. I will create the two center lines. And we'll make that for construction. Now what I will be doing is making use of the top plane and the right plane. Remember the sketches that we've created are in the front plane and the plane parallel to the front plane. So I'm going to go to the top plane, click on the sketch, and then I will use a three point arc and start off from the one of the uh, points on the perimeter of the circle to the uh, point on the rectangle and create that curve which connects the two sketch profiles. I'm also going to create another uh, sketch uh, guiding curve on the other side. We can always create this by using the mirror entities options as well. So as I create these two guiding curves in the top lane uh, I can come out of the sketching mode and I can also make these guide curves in the other planes as well. So for example, if I go to the right plane and click on the sketch and I do the similar thing of creating this uh, guided curve in the right plane 
also I'm gonna do it on the other side and then come out of the sketching mode so now as you can see from this sketch we have four different guided curves created in top planes and the right planes which connects these two sketch profiles one of them is the circular sketch and the other one is the rectangular sketch now we can go to the features and once we want to use the lofted feature we need to make sure that we are exiting the sketching mode go to the lofted pause slash pace it will probably give you a warning saying that at least two profiles are required to make an open loft and three are required to make a closed loft so we can click ok on this message first select the two sketch profiles and it will collect connect it by the predefined algorithm without taking into any consideration of this guided curve now we can click on the guide curve option and select on one of the guide curves we have the options for this selection as either selecting the closed loop or open loop or uh, we can select the group and you know the other options including the regions and so on so I'm just going to click OK on this uh, check mark by selecting this open loop and you can notice how the material will be now confined within the two cross sections by the help of this guided curve I can select the other guide curve and click on the check mark so now you can see on the uh, one of the orientations uh, of uh, the uh, planes here now we are in the x z axis we can see with the help of these two guided curves how the material is now been confined between the two cross sectionals i can move the object or the uh, sketch around and also select the other two guided curves as well and we can now see the material is now confined in this particular plane in which we are oriented our sketch right now in the YZ plane that the material is added accordingly within the guided curves and as we move here again we can notice that the same thing is happening in the other plane as well so once we make selection of these guided curves, I'm going to click on the check mark and uh, we can see how the uh, material is added according to the guide curves that we've created for the purpose of making this loft model. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on the lofted boss slash base and the lofted cut. In the next video lesson, we will go over the other SOLIDWORKS feature which is swept boss slash pace and swept cut where we will look at how to create the pipes and springs.